So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a content calendar using Notion. About two years ago, I started to plan all of my content solely on Notion. And what I did was I pretty much created a custom content calendar that allowed me to track all my video ideas as well as the current status of that video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create that same content calendar. It's very simple and what I recommend doing is just follow along and in a matter of minutes, you guys should have your own customizable content calendar that works for you. So let's get started. So if you guys click on the link in the description, you'll be able to sign up for Notion. But if you already have Notion, just go to your homepage and you should see something like this. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add a page. We're going to name it. So let's name it, for example, content and calendar. I'll click templates right here. And under marketing, it's going to show you content calendar. What you're going to want to do is select that. This is going to show a preview of what it's going to look like. And basically what I'm going to do is click use this template right here. That's going to import this pre-made template that Notion has created into here. You guys can change this icon if you want by clicking on it. But I do like this calendar thing that they have. You guys can rename it right here. You can add a cover here. And yeah, basically how this works is you're going to be able to assign different statuses to your videos. All the current statuses are going to be here so you guys can see idea that is a status in progress is a status in review is a status and published is a status you'll also be able to have a status that's called no status and that's when no status any of these is applied to it you guys can see you can also view by assignee so people that are assigned to different videos or projects you can look at all your projects in this format like this you can see the deadline calendar so when things are set to be scheduled or posted as well as launch calendar. And if you click here, one more, there's also published. So this is gonna be all your published content. So going back to status, you guys can see all these things are really customizable, right? You guys can change the name of this if you want. You guys name it like content ideas, whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it as idea for now. And yeah, you guys can sort of get creative with how you want different statuses and which statuses uh, work well for you. So for example, what I like to have was here, I would call it scripting in progress. And basically what I would do is I would put a bunch of different ideas right here. And then once I start to actually script them or outline them, I would drag them over here to the scripting in progress column. After that, what I would do is change this to filming. So yeah, once the scripting is done, you are going to be able to change the status right here to filming. And then if you want to actually add some more statuses, you guys can click this right here. I'll name it post production. And then what I'll be able to do is drag this over here. So it makes sense. And yeah, I like to do this because after I film the video, I'll be able to put it in the post-production section, which means that I am now editing it or my team is editing it. After that, what I like to do is have one called ready to publish. I'll drag that over here. So once it's done being edited, it's going to go into the ready to publish column. And these are just videos that are ready to publish. The descriptions are done, all that stuff. And once those are actually posted online, that's when it actually goes into the published status category. So yeah, you can see if you click on a particular video, Video. You guys will be able to change the name right here. You'll be able to select the status right here. I'm actually going to change the order here just so it makes more sense. You can select the content type, right? So with this content calendar template, it pre-populates with a few different types of content. And yeah, this really works for any type of platform. So you guys can do YouTube videos. You guys can use it for Instagram, TikTok, whatever. You can rename these if you want. You can set a deadline for when you want this to be done. And of course, you can set a publication date for when you want to to actually publish it online. You can always add new properties if you want. So if I click on this, you guys can see we can assign people, right? We can have a checkbox, we have more dates, we can actually add text. Really can get creative with this and just, you know, make it and design it however you like and however it works for you and your team. The template also pre-populates some things you guys can use, such as a research section, a planning section, note section, as well as any drafts. But yeah, I really like using Notion as a content calendar because just the ability to drag things from from one status to the other. Having everything here in one content calendar makes it really, really easy. And of course, you guys, if you are you know, making a lot of YouTube videos and you're making a lot of Instagram videos as well as TikToks, it may be worthwhile to actually separate these out. So you have one content calendar for YouTube, one for TikTok, and then one for Instagram. On the other hand, you can also just have all the different platforms, all the different videos on one single content calendar. But yeah, just see what works well for you guys. This is not the only way to view your content calendar. You can also go to all projects. This is how you're going to be able to see all your videos at once. So if you have a lot, then this might be better. And yeah, I definitely recommend using deadlines and publication dates. So for example,
example, say I want to publish this next week. So I'll click on that. Now, if you guys come here to the launch calendar and I scroll here, it's going to show me, hey, this video is due to be published on this particular day. So a really great way to see, you know, which videos are going out on your platforms. And I like to use this to make sure that I'm putting out content consistently, maybe every other day or so. Yeah, really, really recommend it. You guys, Notion is so great for content calendars. I use Notion for a long time, recently switched over to ClickUp. But yeah, I'd say that for most people, 90, 95% of people, this is going to be completely fine. The biggest thing is that you actually just use it and incorporate this into your content creating regimen. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys are new content creators or you're looking to step up your content creation game, then I really do think that having some type of content calendar like this really holds you accountable and makes it so that you can output a lot more videos consistently. So like I said earlier, the links to all the resources mentioned in this video are going to be down in the description below. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials, helping you start up your business. Thanks so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.